Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a very long time, as I say every time, because I'm lazy and I don't post YouTube videos, but I should. So I'm here and I'm posting one. And today we're trying out Greg Doucette, Greg Doucette, Greg, however you say it. Everyone knows Greg, Coach Greg, yeah, Dr. Greg. Everyone knows who Greg is, I don't need to introduce him. I'm gonna try his anabolic French toast. Simple, low calories, depending on what toppings you put, and how many ingredients you use, but it is very simple. It's like five ingredients top, simple to use. It's not simple to use, it's simple to make and it tastes unreal. And most importantly, it's anabolic for the gains. Right, let's dive right in, show you guys what you need. You shut up. Uh, yeah, and let's get stuck in. So this is everything you need. Three eggs, one whole and two other egg whites. These are my topping choices. Some of this zero calorie peanut butter cup syrup, cinnamon, a little bit of sweetener. I normally use bagel things, but I'm out. I have to use these instead, which are gluten free, but they're not too bad. 146 per one. So use two of these. And yeah, fry light as well. And it's very simple to use. I'll show you the process. Just basically crack the eggs into there, whisk it up, throw the bread in, throw it in the pan. It's that simple. Egg whites only. That's all you want to use. Oh, hello. Because I miss my arm, it's massive. It's all angle. Yeah, no yolk. Just the white. Like so. A bit of jiggling and jaggling. Gotta get used to doing this, but I've only done it a couple of times, it's quite easy. Just don't want to drop the yolk. Here we go. Wash the hands. So now, it looks like this. What I do at this point, get a little bit of sweetener. Throw it in. Let's turn the hob on actually. You don't want to put the hob on too hot because it will burn. You just want it to cook nice and slow. Probably two, three minutes tops, but actually probably longer, about five minutes. On a slow temp, on a low temp. Like this. Like so. And now you want to throw in some cinnamon. You know what, every time I use cinnamon, it just reminds me of the cinnamon challenge. I don't know if any of you did that when you were younger, but get a spoonful of cinnamon and throw it in your mouth and try and swallow it without spitting it out. But it's not nice, so I don't recommend. But yeah, cinnamon's in, I'll just beat that in too. It runs around the bowl, so you want to just get the eggs and slosh them around the bowl. Looks disgusting, but trust me, it's nice. I say you want to swash it around the bowl. Oh, there you go. It's just stuck on the edge. That's the best it's going to get. And that is everything you need to do for that process. Oh, hello. You ready for food? No food for you. For me only. And you guys. bread and literally depending on how soft your bread is you might want to toast it before you put it into there but just put it in the mix I'm not going to toast it and just give it a slosh around on one side flip it over and do the same on that side until you feel like there's enough on the bread put some of this in the pan Couple pumps, keep the cows down. And just 
throw the bread once you're satisfied. On there, like so, and just repeat that until you've got all the slices you need in the pan. So now all of the French toast is in the pan, just get the excess egg whites and pour them on top. A little bit of extra cinnamon. And now you're done. I'd say two minutes, maybe two, three minutes on one side and then flip it, and then just flip it for a minute, minute again until we're satisfied. As you can see, it really is that easy. Just a couple of eggs, bread, fry light spray, or olive oil, whatever you want to use. Slosh it around and throw it in the pan. And yeah, it's so simple. Looks boring, but trust me, it tastes unreal. And I'll put all the calories and the macros on the screen when I'm finished, including my toppings as well, because I'm probably gonna put some chocolate chips on there. Why not? Make it fun, make it enjoyable, people. It's in your calories, within your macros, then why not make it fun? It's still gonna be low calorie at the end of the day and it is high in protein, so. So now these should be ready to flip. Just don't do it like that. There you go, give them a flip. You'll know when they're not flipping because the egg will be fried on one side. There you go, give them a flip. That's a terrible pan organization. There you go. Now I'll get the cinnamon again. And just throw a little bit more on this side. And repeat that in a couple of minutes time. The stuff as well is the business. I got this from TK Maxx and it cost me £3.99, but I've been using it all the time for iced coffees, cereal, French toast. It's literally zero calories per 100 grams, which is insane. Yeah, it's good stuff, skinny syrups. Pick it up, they do loads of flavors, but I rate this one quite a bit because I'm a peanut butter guy. Yes, sir. So I want to flip it again because it seems like that side is ready. Yep, flip it again, just for another few minutes. Oh, that's fun. Another few minutes on this side. And that is how you should be looking when you're nearly done. Oh, it's unreal, can't wait. I've been having this stuff literally like every day for breakfast and yeah, I haven't got bored of it. As Greg always says, dieting doesn't need to be boring. You can make fun foods that look unhealthy, but they're still fine. And they're in your calories, then you can eat them. Calories in, calories out. There is the finished product. Well, the cooked product. It's not finished yet. Got to add my toppings, but that is how it should look when it's done. Not too crispy, still a bit soft. You'll know when it's done. It's just like frying an egg, really. A tablespoon of chocolate chips don't hurt, it's good. Not too many, though, then it becomes unreal. I mean, unrealistic. You don't need to have uh, French toast here that's like 350 calories and then add 150 calories or 200 calories worth of chocolate chips because then it's just pointless. It's better if it fits your calories, do what you want to do. But I like to keep mine quite low. A little bit of the syrup. I don't like too much of this because it makes it soggy. Cinnamon. We've got no raspberries, which I'd normally have on as well, but I've got no raspberries. But we're done. Oh yeah. Let's get a close up action of this bad boy. And there you have it. Easy, simple, and quick to make. Relatively high in protein, so it's anabolic and it's low calorie. The macros are good, the calories are good, it tastes good, you're on to a winner. Up here, calories and macros. Get involved, people. Greg Doucette, you're the man and you know what you're talking about. I'm yet to try more from the cookbook, but this, so far, flames. This is missing some fruit right now. I normally have it with fruit, but still, I bet this is gonna be unreal, so. Do a little taste test. 
table. It smells good. I haven't had this for a while now. Got a little bit of chocolate on there, a little bit of syrup. Look at that. Good stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Like I said, Coach Greg, you are the man. I seriously, seriously recommend that you guys try this. The lighting in here is awful. That's the video, guys. Please, please, please make sure you try this. I'll leave the links down below into the cookbook for you to purchase and to Greg's channel, of course. Not that he needs any shout outs. The man is, is a legend. Everyone knows Greg. But yeah, that's unbelievable. I'm diving in and finishing it. This has been the video. Just a quick one, but something I've wanted to do because this is something I love and you guys need to try it too. So hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon.